All right, guys. How y'all doing today? Mike here, Way of Life Outdoor Survival. Y'all, we've been doing some Dutch oven cooking, and uh, had a couple people wanting to wanting to see some kind of dessert. So we're at it again, y'all. We out here, and I got a uh, got some charcoal and um, um, some pre burnt pieces of wood charcoal and stuff like that. Got me a little fire going, and uh, we're gonna do something just a little bit different in the Dutch oven tonight, and uh, try to start a little earlier today so maybe it won't get dark on us, but uh, y'all stick around, see what we're doing, and uh, hang out with us for a little while. All right, y'all. As you can see, our uh, our charcoal pile, is, the flames have kind of died down, and um, I usually wait till the flame's completely out to start anything, but what I've done, y'all, I got some butter in my Dutch oven. Show y'all what we got going on. I got some butter in my Dutch oven. And we're going to use the uh, the heat from this to go and get the Dutch oven hot and get this butter melting. Because we're going to need that butter for our bottom layer of what we're doing today, y'all. I'll just kind of show you. I don't really know. This ain't really a recipe. It's just something I've kind of come up with, y'all. And, uh. We're going to try it out and see how, how it turns out. I don't know. Uh, just testing the recipe out, trying to figure out, you know, different things we can do with the Dutch oven. But uh, we're going to use that heat, going to get this butter melted, and I'll show you our next step, y'all. All right, guys. Our butter's all melted down. And uh, next thing I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to take, I just took graham crackers, got them all crumbled up, and we're going to, Mix that graham crackers in with that melted butter. And what we're going to try to do, y'all, is make more or less like a graham cracker crust out of it. And uh, hopefully, I got enough to do exactly what I want to do with. Let's see what we got here. Like I said, I just hand crumbled these up, y'all. Um, I didn't put them in no process or nothing. What we're trying to do, y'all, is more or less, I guess you'd call it a s'mores bake. Um, I'm going to take graham crackers and butter and make a crust at the bottom. And, uh, y'all, I know s'mores ain't got no brownies in it, but what I'm going to do next, I'm going to take a uh, brownie mix that I've added. Um, it's got three kinds of chocolate. It's got cocoa. It's got it's got the cocoa in the chocolate. It's got the uh, uh, milk chocolate chips, and then it's got semi-sweet chocolate chunks. And uh, y'all, that's just about right the way I want them. Now I'm gonna take and just more or less mash that out, flatten that out, and make a crust out of it, y'all. And uh, we'll go from there here in just a minute. All right, guys. We got the uh, got the crust ready with our graham crackers and our butter, and uh, now we're gonna be adding our more or less our brownie mix. And look, y'all, you can see the big chunks of chocolate in there. We're gonna pour that right on top of the crust, y'all. And I've already got ten charcoal briquettes underneath the bottom of this and we're probably going to put i say probably another maybe eight at least eight maybe ten on top um i don't think this thing's going to take about 30 minutes or so i think it's going to be just about like um making brownies and stuff in the oven in the in the house i think it's going to take probably about 30 some minutes 30 35 maybe 40 minutes 45 minutes tops I get all that good brownie stuff out of there. I'm just gonna spread that out. And then we're gonna let this bake. And then we're gonna add a little stuff on top of it. We're gonna add some marshmallows and 
some more graham crackers on top. All right, y'all, I'm going to get this spread out, and we should be about ready. All right, y'all. Got a graham cracker crumble on the bottom. Got our brownies poured in there. Got the lid on. Ten charcoal briquettes. Oh, you went on use ten because they're kind of small on top. And uh, actually, I'm going to give it about 20 minutes, y'all, and then I'm going to start adding marshmallows and graham crackers on top. And... Uh, We'll see what it looks like here in about 20 minutes, y'all. All right, guys. It's been 20 minutes. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, look at that, y'all. Ho oh, ho. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like s'mores, believe it or not. The brown cracker smells that chocolate of those brownies. I need to get some of these marshmallows on here pretty quick. I don't want to burn the bottom of it. We just want a layer of marshmallows all over the top of it. We want these to kind of melt down and stick. Just get that ooey gooey marshmallow, just a layer of that all over if we can. I don't want it stuck to the edges of my Dutch oven, so. And just get a single layer all over we'll be doing good y'all I hope it works out y'all like I said this ain't really a recipe it's just something I come up with out of my head y'all <laughs> sometimes I don't know about stuff comes out of my head but <laughs> anyway y'all um, alright we got the marshmallows over there Next, we're going to add a little bit more graham cracker crust to it, y'all. All right, here's our final layer. Graham cracker crumbles on top of those marshmallows. We just want a thin layer of everything, y'all. Even the brownies, I didn't make them real thick. And I'm not going to cook these completely done like you would like cakey, like brownies. Um, we wanted a little chewy, ooey gooey, like some more. It's supposed to be a little messy and sticky and, you know. Got our marshmallows and ground crackers on there. We're gonna put the top back on it. Got a top back on there, and I'll tell y'all what I'm gonna do. Just so it goes on and melts the marshmallows and the browns the graham cracker crumbs on top. I'm gonna go on and add just about enough for about probably four more charcoal briquettes on top. Just so I can go and speed up the top so the bottom don't get done before the top does. We want that marshmallows and that graham cracker on top to go and do its thing too. So. Alright y'all. We're going to give it about another 10 minutes and uh, I don't know. Probably another 10 minutes and something like that. We'll check it again and see what it looks like y'all. Alright y'all. It's been a total of 35 minutes, 35 minutes total. Let's get this top off here and see what this looks like. All right, y'all. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, the marshmallows are just about right, y'all. All right, I'll tell you what. We're going to take this in the house, let it cool off, and we'll see what we got. All right, y'all. There they are. Done and done. I want y'all to look at the shape. Like I said, I didn't want the brownies to be cake-like. Look 
graham cracker crust at the bottom, brownie with the chocolate chunks in it, marshmallows and graham crackers on top, y'all. And it didn't burn or get too brown, just about right. Let's try this out. Dutch oven s'mores bake. Hmm. It's just like s'mores. Hmm. The reason I want to do this, y'all, this is something that's um inexpensive. Um, like I said, some graham crackers, a cheap box of brownie mix, some marshmallows, and uh, that's about it, y'all. But anyway, if y'all like this, I hope you try it. If you try it, I hope you like it. And uh, if y'all would, please like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.